Okay, it's time to do a gear review on my favorite survival kit pack, the Maxpedition Jumbo Versa Pack. Um, I did a review a few months back on a water bottle carrier from Maxpedition. Uh, showed that, that survival kit and how much stuff I could actually load out in that. Thought I'd do the same thing with this. This is its stored configuration. Um, this is the way I keep it in the back of my truck, behind the seat. I actually flipped this up so it fits in a little bit better. But um, I have everything stuffed in right now. You know, I don't have water in here. I actually have some food and other things in here. But when I go hike or when I go out in the woods, I take a lot of the stuff off. I wear the knife. Um, I might not have um, need for as many of the articles that I have in here. Um, basic survival, but again, I'll go through it. I'll open it up and show you all the stuff that I have packed in this configuration the way it sits right here. Um, great, it's my favorite toy. I'll show you what's in it. Okay, I unloaded everything, and again, I, yeah, I'll admit, I'm a pack rat. I put in a ton of stuff, I loaded out, but again, this is just how it's stored in the vehicle. When I go out for hikes, different applications, I'll take different stuff. Um, I usually bring a Nalgene bottle, much lighter, if I'm going out for hikes, but certain core things I always take with me. And this is kind of the way it's laid out as well. In the front pocket, there, right in the big front, kind of just pull things out as I hold them in there. Always take the first aid kit, it's kind of customized, I put a few extra things in there. A little bit of food, um, some beverages, uh, some drink mixes, and you know, the, uh, the fish prong to actually hold and, and cook water, boil water in the Nalgene. So I like those, it's easy to do. Um, sometimes I won't bring the Espit stove. I always take my fire kit. Also put the fire kit in the lid on the top. Um, you can see a ton of stuff. I mean, this, it's not light. It's probably 14 pounds, I think, loaded up. Um, when I strip it down, I can probably shave two or three pounds off it. But a lot of the stuff I want to take with me. This is an easy overnight kit. Um, these guys make great products. These to-go uh, systems. This is kind of a poncho tarp, um, heat reflective. You can use it um, as a bivy, snap around you. I have a lot of redundancy in this kit right here. So if I really wanted to go light, I'll just take this kit, the uh, tarp. Um, I always like the garbage bags. I always tell my son, you know, it's a great sleeping pad if needed be. Um, you can also just, you know, when you're out hiking, load one up. If you see people left trash out there, do the right thing, pull it in. Uh, K-Bar neck knife, love it. Another schmog, some gloves. Um, I've talked about that before. I like these. Um, it's a little heavy, but it's got a lot of cool features on it. The sharpener, wire cutter, even has a frail rod. It's the SOG uh, seal pup. Um, Laplanders, I have these in all my kits. Um, love it. Uh, we've cut down big shelters. I think I mentioned before, with just the friendly Swede, the Laplander, um, bringing a water bottle along. Uh, we've done some overnighters before, just to say we could do it. So this is just an idea of all the different things you can actually shove in here. Um, hopefully you got some ideas and realize that it might be a small pack, but you can really, really load it up with a ton of stuff. So um, hope you like it. Hope you find some value in it. And I hope you get some good ideas by checking it out. Feel free to share if you have any comments. Love to hear it. Thanks.